Good morning, friends. It is seven minutes to seven. It's Monday morning, and this is a review on the grow lights. As you can see, that one is on, on the tree. And I, what I find amazing is that the tree has new this is all new so it is enjoying being in here there's no dead leaves I'm not having any problems with that it seems to be adjusting quite well so putting it in the shade two weeks before bringing it in seemed to have really done a great job at acclimating it so I'm pretty happy with that and as you can see I, everything's doing good the soil's not soaked the plant is healthy as you can see it's healthy so I'm very pleased with this so now is the thing to talk about all these grow lights that I have so this one here was having some massive problems on my last video I told you about and so we got a grow light for it here it is the pendant it's a little warm but not hot to the touch and it seems to be doing good so you know I don't think that we'll have to, to put it up any high or lower the pendant I think it's perfect. We got some new babies on here. As you can see right there is a new baby. So I think it's doing a lot better. You know, I still have some dieback, but that's because I, you know, they were already dying when uh, I didn't have enough light. And this is not supposed to have a lot of light. It's supposed to be like a shaded type plant. So but it's doing a lot better and uh, it's worth the hundred and ninety dollars to keep it alive I'm a plant enthusiast so the more plants I have in my house the happier I am and when I got real sick I lost all my plants I had a jungle and I lost all my plants so I'm in the process of re getting a lot more plants to uh, for me to enjoy so that light's doing great and then i have my pontus and my spider plant my spider was having a lot of issues so definitely being in this window here should help it a lot um, i'm hoping that it'll adjust itself because you can see it's having problems but i don't want to overwater it or underwater it so i've been once a week maintaining it and just trying to help it acclimate because I didn't acclimate it I just brought it straight in and it's having issues so we'll get her adjusted and I'm not taking my plants back outside so this is the last adjustment it's gonna have to take but you can see the babies I have babies everywhere and uh, so it's happy So, my Henny Bennies is doing well, and it's, you can see nice, the nice purple on the tips right here, just means that it's healthy, so we're just going to keep it there, and hopefully this adjusts, there it goes, we're just going to keep it there in the window with the lights right here. And I'll, and I'll discuss with you what this light is actually going to be for at the end of the video. Let me move this chair out of the way. It's the only problem I have right here is the chair. So, the aloe seems to be doing really well. It's the best I've ever had. 
and you can see the light in the back plus the window plus the light for the tree and then this other light here I'll show you in a second it just seems to be doing really well so I haven't watered it in a few uh, a couple of weeks um, I plan on it probably this week just giving it a small drink so that way it doesn't you know dry out too much but aloes are like anything you know uh, some plants like to be messed with and some plants don't this one doesn't so it's doing great and hopefully it'll get nice and huge so here is the one that I have been fighting and you can see I've lost a lot but she's doing good on the side which told us that if she gets enough light she'll uh you know continue to do good so we got this light for her it's a grow light and we're gonna see just exactly what happens and hopefully that grow light will help her but you can see I got some dead right here I gotta take care of but I water it once a week you know and I clean out the dead once a week well, I clean it out, then I water it. But this had nice reviews, and I wanted the plant to have its own light. So we went and bought it. And you can see it's getting a good amount of light there. So that makes me happy. My mother-in-law's tongue, snake plant, whatever you want to call it, it's doing good. It's growing. Um, I think it's these are the type that little, very little light. And so I have it over here. The soil's dry. It likes to be dry, uh, you know, a lot of the time. So, I, you know, I water it. I think I water it like once, once a month to once every two weeks. Just depends on the situation there and of course my lavender tree it's still there I need to take care of it get the lavender off infuse it with oil and make my own oil lavender oils so it's sad that it died I will be getting a new one and uh, we won't be doing what we did this year so now back to this light right here this light right here is going to be for my carnivorous plant. I'm getting one. Uh, we ordered it. And it said 7 to, I think, 7 to 10 days for shipping. And then it'll take like a, I think it's overnight shipping. I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, hopefully uh, we'll get it here pretty soon. Uh, we ordered it last night. So at least 7 to 10 days. For them to do the shipping process and then however long it takes to ship here and um, so that's that that's the goal it's a pitcher plant so that's it's going to be going right here and uh, uh, it'll have that light solely for for it that's what we actually bought these for was for the for the pitcher plant and for the other plant and they came in a set of two so and I think it only cost me 20 some dollars 26 dollars or something for the lights so that wasn't too bad and we'll see if it works I mean uh, you know all you can do is try right so that is my review on the plants and you can see I got a spider plant it's up there and some more ponthus so the spider plant down here is doing a lot better. It had been in a window outside or, you know, in the kitchen for a while. But I did relocate it in here. And then, of course, all these. So, but this is what it looks like in my plant area. So, I'm, I'm getting happy about this. I want to turn it kind of like in, in a jungle pack there. So we have been investing in lights 
and we have been investing in you know all kinds of stuff for the plants um, my husband knows I like plants and um, we do plan on getting more ponthas different types the rare ones and uh, but ponthas is, uh, plants are real easy to grow they don't you know they can grow under you know with just normal house light so they grow slower with the normal house light but they can grow and they can survive so they're really good for a beginner plant um, they don't like to be over watered so but anyways that's that's it my Myra lemon and all my other plants they're they're starting to do good I'm, I'm getting happy okay friends you have a great day